Our Hebrew Bible says that God is not a man. You Christians impose a physical dimension to God saying your Messiah is divine. God is spirit and he cannot be seen and you say that your Jesus is God who appeared on earth. God being spirit is true. However, he can do anything according to his infinite power. He did appear to humans visibly and tangibly in a physical form. No, no one can ever see God. I can show you from Torah that God did appear to humans. In Genesis 17, when Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am almighty God. In the next chapter, Genesis 18, the Lord appeared to him by the terebinth trees of Mamre, as he was sitting in the tent door in the heat of the day. So he lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, three men were standing by him. Abraham showed his hospitality to them by washing their feet and making them rest under the tree and serving them with butter and milk and a calf. Obviously, at least one of the men who appeared to Abraham was God himself. Genesis 18:22 says Abraham stood before Adonai. My rabbi tells me that the Christian faith originates from Greek mythology, for example, your Bible says that Jesus is Logos, who is supposed to be God himself. Logos is the Greek word for the word of God, who is a divine person with God in the beginning, and he is God. John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In Genesis 15 of Torah, the word of the Lord. In Hebrew, Devar Adonai, appeared to Abraham, not just in a beam of light or just with an audible voice, but in a real person. The word of the Lord came to Abraham, talked with him, and brought him outside and said to him, Look now toward heaven, and count the stars if you are able to number them. In another instance, in 1 Samuel 3, we see the word of the Lord, Devar Adonai, appeared to the young boy Samuel, who later became the judge, prophet and priest of Israel. Again, the appearance of the word of the Lord was not just a voice. 1 Samuel 3.10 says now the Lord came and stood and called as at other times, Samuel. Samuel. In Jeremiah chapter 1, the word of the Lord, Devar Adonai, came to Jeremiah. Verse 9 says the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. This is another example of the word of the Lord appeared physically to humans. I never knew that the word of the Lord Devar Adonai was a divine person who was written in the Hebrew Bible to have appeared to men. The Greek word Logos and Hebrew word Devar Adonai, found respectively in the New Testament and Torah, both mean the word of God. We have seen a few instances where the word of God appear as a divine person to men in physical form. There is another Aramaic word, Memra, meaning the word of God, found in the Aramaic Targums. These were originally Midrashic or paraphrased translation of the Hebrew scripture dating back to the Babylonian exile, according to the Jewish encyclopedia. In the Targum the Memra figures constantly as the manifestation of the divine power, or as God's messenger in place of God himself. In many instances, the word Memra is a divine person, equivalent and interchangeable with God. I can show you many examples from the Targums, that the Memra, being the word of God is God himself. In Genesis, the Memra, the word of God, was the creator. The Targum Jonathan translates Genesis 2.8 as follows, And a garden from the Eden of the just was planted by the word of the Lord God, before the creation of the world. And he made there to dwell the man when he had created him. Going back to the first chapter of Genesis, Let's read how the Targum Jonathan translates Genesis 1:27. And the word of the Lord created man in his likeness, in the likeness of the presence of the Lord he created him, the male and his yoke fellow he created them. The Memra was the one who created man in God's image. We can see the Targumists show understanding that the word of God is the creator. In another Targum, the translator says, In the beginning and in great wisdom, God created and finished the heavens and the earth. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light as he commanded by his word. Please note that wisdom and the word, Memra, plays the role of a co-creator of God. 
There is a verse from Genesis 19 that puzzles many Bible students. According to the Shema, Deuteronomy 6:4, Adonai is one. Genesis 19:24 says the Lord caused to rain upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. There seems to be two Yahwehs in Genesis 19:24. Let's see how the Targum Jerusalem translates the verse. And the word of the Lord himself caused to descend upon them bitumen and fire from before the Lord from the heavens. It was Memra, who caused to rain brimstone from Yahweh of heaven. Memra is a divine person who is distinct of God and equivalent to God. In Exodus 3, an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses in a flame of fire in a bush without burning the bush, said to Moses, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. We know for certain that the angel was God. The Targum Jonathan translates the same chapter Exodus 3 verse 14 like this. And the word of the Lord said to Moses, He who spake to the world, be, and it was, and who will speak to it, be, and it will be. And he said, Thus shalt thou speak to the sons of Israel, I am who I am, hath sent me unto you. Later in Exodus, God appeared at Mount Sinai. The people of Israel witnessed the thunderings, the lightning flashes, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they trembled and stood afar off. Then they said to Moses, You speak with us, and we will hear, but let not God speak with us, lest we die. God gave Moses instructions to build a sanctuary with a mercy seat in the Holy of Holies, above which God would appear and speak to men over and over. This is how the Targum of Jonathan interpreted the verse Exodus 25:22 about the mercy seat. And I will appoint my word with thee there, and will speak with thee from above the mercy seat, between the two Karabiah that are over the Ark of the Testament, concerning all that I may command thee for the sons of Israel. God appointed the Memra, to be a mediator between men and God. The understanding of the word of God, being equivalent to God, was a concept embraced by the Targumists during and before the era of the Second Temple. The mystery of this divine person was fully revealed when he came in person. John 1.14 says the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. He is God dwelling on earth with men, fulfilling the prophecy of the Messiah to be born as Emmanuel, God with us. Colossians 1.15 says, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and, and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. Jesus the word of God, declared to the world that he is one with God, when he said, I and my Father are one. The Jonathan Targum translates Isaiah 12 2 like this. Behold, in the word of God is my salvation. I am trusting, and shall not be moved because my strength and my praise is the fear of the Lord. He hath spoken by his word, and he has become my salvation. In the same Targum, it is said, My word shall be your help, says the Lord and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Abraham believed in the Lord, and had faith in the Memra, word of the Lord, and God reckoned it to him for righteousness. Put your faith in Jesus, the word of God, who has come to the world to taste death and overcome death. He will give you eternal salvation and redemption. Please check references. These references are also available under the description of this YouTube.